Ultrasonography, mastered by bats millions of years ago, was introduced for medical imaging purposes in the second part of the 20th century and has quickly emerged as an important diagnostic tool. Over the past few decades, advances in image quality, portability, and affordability have made ultrasonography an ideal bedside tool for non-radiology physicians, both for diagnosis and procedural guidance. In specialties such as cardiology, obstetrics, and emergency medicine, formal training and accreditation in ultrasonography is well established. Now it's time for nephrologists to embrace this much needed skill. Why should we incorporate point of care ultrasonography, also known as POCUS, into nephrology practice? Helps in the rapid initial assessment of acute kidney injury and volume status, allows procedures such as kidney biopsy to be done by the bedside, and enhances the attractiveness of nephrology as a career choice among trainees. At the University of Florida, we have developed a nephrology-oriented POCUS program for the internal medicine house staff, which has been received with overwhelming enthusiasm and interest. We intend to expand the educational activity by designing an easily accessible teaching tool that can be used as a reference by trainees and interested nephrologists. Our proposed tool would comprise of a set of four videos lasting approximately 45 minutes, which would introduce the basics of nephrology-oriented POCUS and focus on the performance and key technical concepts of sonography, along with interpretation of common sonographic abnormalities. The first video would include a brief overview of ultrasound wave physics, tissue acoustic impedance, and the basics of key ultrasound modes used for image acquisition. In addition, characteristics of a normal renal sonogram and the common abnormalities such as hydronephrosis, stones, and cysts would be discussed. The second video would demonstrate the renal ultrasound procedure, including probe selection and mode selection, acquisition of longitudinal and transverse views of the kidneys and urinary bladder, and resistive index measurement for transplant renal ultrasound. The third video would be divided into three parts and would demonstrate how to locate the inferior vena cava and use of M-mode to estimate the changes in diameter with respiration, sonographic chest zones for lung examination, pleural sliding and A-lines, and goal-directed echocardiography to detect hypovolemia and evaluate right and left ventricular function. The fourth video would be an image-based presentation discussing interesting renal ultrasound cases we encountered in our practice, including pathologies mimicking hydronephrosis.